Hello YouTube, uh, hello again. So um, this is um, part 2 in episode 11 of How to Follow Jesus Christ. So let us begin. Question 17. What did God promise um, Israel that he would do for them? Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says, Open the windows of heaven and pour down an overflow of blessings for you. So basically when you give your tithes and um, you in the right mode of heart and you have faith that Jesus is going to bring you through a situation, you'll be overflowed with blessings. Question 18. What two things does Jesus tell Christians to seek for all others? Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 is the kingdom of God, so eternal life, and his righteousness. So seek to be like him, seek to do the right things like he did. Question 19. What result does Christ promise will then follow? Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 is all these things will be given to you as well. So all those things, if you seek the kingdom of God and you and his righteousness, all other things will be added to you. Question 20. What, when we give, uh, with what measure will be given back to you? Uh, Luke chapter 6 verse 38 is a good measure. Question 21. By what standard did Paul tell each Christian to measure how much he should set aside for God? 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 uh, chapter 16 verse 2 is, as he may prosper. Let me check that. Yes, yeah, so as you may prosper through God. So when the Holy Spirit tells you to give a certain amount according to how you prosper, then you should give that amount. Question 22. For what purpose did Christ become poor? First, second, second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 is so that we may become rich. So he became as poor as a carpenter and through um, having a relationship through Jesus Christ and receiving his righteousness, so he'll, he'll give blessings unto you and um, you became you can become rich in all aspects of life, not just financially. Question 23. What kind of person does God love? 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7. Chapter 9 verse 7 is a cheerful giver. So that's the sort of heart you must have, a cheerful giver. Even no matter how hard the offering might seem, if, if you feel like you don't afford it, just give it and just be cheerful because you know God's going to do something with it. Even though you may not know what it is, just have faith. Remember, because faith is the substance of evidence. There's the substance of evidence things not seen. So even even though you haven't seen God do something with it yet, you know it's going to happen. Question twenty four: If we wish to reap bountifully, what must we first do? Second Corinthians chapter nine verse six is so bountiful, bountifully. So the more you put in, the more you get out. Question twenty five: If God's grace abounds towards us, what two results will follow? 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 is every blessing abundantly. So as you become, as you be blessed more abundantly, abundantly, you start to become more of a blessing to other people as well. And have enough for everything. So you have enough for everything in your life. Question 26. What kind of person, what kind of person or people will God withhold no good thing? Psalms 84 verse 11 is those who walk uprightly. So those who have a relationship with Jesus Christ and those who um, seek to, in his way, seek to be more like him, well, those are the sort of people that God will withhold, withhold no good thing. So he'll give you a good thing. Question 27. What kind of people will not lack any good thing? Psalm 34 verse 10 says, those who seek the Lord. And question 28. In what does the Lord take pleasure? Psalm 35 verse 27 says, those who desire my vivid words. In the prosperity of his servant. So that's what the Lord takes pleasure in. In the prosperity of his servant. Matthew, and today's memory verse is Matthew 6 verse 33. So if you've heard this or any of my other previous videos. And you want to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour. Please pray this prayer. Close your eyes and put your hands together and bow your head. Say this prayer. Dear God, I come to you today. I believe you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross of my sins and that he shed his blood and rose again. Jesus, I believe I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. I turn away and repent from them. Wash me with your blood so I am seen righteous in your eyes. And, and send your Holy Spirit to come into my life so I can have a relationship with you from here on in. 
and I acknowledge you, Jesus, as my personal Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name, Amen. So if you've prayed that prayer, you're now a follower of Christ. Congratulations. So what I suggest you do now is get this book called the Self-Study Bible Course. Uh, it's really good at telling you um, the basics of Christianity and also get a Bible so you get to know God more and you develop your relationship with him and you can apply your work, his word in your life. I get the New Spirit Filled Life Bible. Um, it's very good at, uh, it's an in-depth commentary Bible, it's very good at teaching you the Word of God. Also, um, praise and worship him, praise and worship him, praise and worship him, so you're basically acknowledging him as ultimately worthy, and acknowledging him for who he is, because he's God and all of that. Uh, I'll teach that in a course, maybe, or you can get that in church. And speaking of churches, I'd go to a Pentecostal or Baptist church, more flexible with the Holy Spirit moving in their services. Also, uh, get baptised, which is a public declaration that you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. And also, um, get the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is basically the full manifestation of Him in you. And you start to speak tongues, which is like the very language of God. And if you have any questions about Christianity or anything in general, please, uh, Comment below, comment anyway, and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.